Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another edition of Dissecting with Emily. This is actually Emily right here, Emily Caggiano, who's uh, in our the Ohio University Honors Tutorial College. And Emily and I have been dissecting, um, mostly Emily, um, has been dissecting uh, albatross, which are these long wing oceanic birds. We've actually got a carcass right here um, that we got as a natural casualty from Hawaii. Uh, just beautiful birds in life. They're actually pretty beautiful birds in death too really long, narrow wing for, for dynamic soaring over, over the ocean. And so we've been trying to look throughout the whole body what's going on that make these animals such successful um, ocean-going animals. Uh, today what we'd like to talk about are some of the things that Emily found when she dissected a head. So Emily, tell us what you found. So what we did is we took this head and one of the adaptations that albatross have to be um, oceanic birds is that they have a sunshade right here and it kind of acts like a hat and it allows them to see down while they're flying and keeps the sun out of their eyes so that they're able to hunt and um, be efficient in that way. And the next thing we did to look at another adaptation is we actually skinned back the head and so and to look at the salt glands. And so you can see the salt glands are very large and one is right here and the other is right here. And what these do is they take the salt out of the blood because um, albatross are oceanic birds, they have to drink salt water and their kidneys are not very well adapted to removing a lot of salt water from, from the blood. So what the salt glands do is they take the salt from the blood and they create a salty solution which then comes out of the nostril right here and drips down the beak and then drips off the beak so it gets the salt out of their body and allows them to be more efficient. And what actually did is we took out and dissected one of the salt glands and this was actually injected a while ago so you can see the blood vessels in blue and see how they supply um, the salt gland and allow the albatross to be an efficient hunter. Great. Yeah, and if we actually look at a, a dried skull right here, we can see these remarkable depressions in the skull. And so it was really cool to be able to um, actually see in Emily's dissection the size of, of, of those salt glands. And so albatross are really remarkable birds and it's a real privilege for us to be able to sort of dig inside and see how they're put together. So uh, thanks for watching and that was today's episode of Dissecting with Emily. See ya.